In 2021, the recommended age for getting your first colonoscopy dropped from 50 to 45 years old. While it's a topic many shy away from speaking about, One Billings Woman is sharing her story about her battle with colorectal cancer in hopes of spreading more awareness on the importance of getting screened. Nobody wants to talk about the symptoms of colon cancer. Nobody talks about having rectal bleeding or diarrhea. Jennifer Eliason was one of those people until about six years ago. And with no family history and being an active person, she disregarded the symptoms she faced. I had had some bleeding that I just dismissed as hemorrhoids and honestly just ignored that for about a year. She is a busy mother and a March of Dimes employee, which means it was easy to push the bleeding to the back of her mind. But in 2018, she couldn't ignore it anymore. She was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. I was still stage one, and so very treatable. But others aren't as fortunate. According to the American Cancer Society, colon cancer is the number one cause of death in men under 50 and number two cause of death in women under 50. And it is affecting people at a younger age, although doctors don't know why. I think it has a lot to do with diet and exercise. Since 2020, there has been a 9% increase in colon cancer diagnosis for people under the age of 50. It's estimated that 90% of those can be prevented with earlier screening. Dr. William Phillips specializes in family medicine at St. Vincent Regional Hospital. He says getting screened is the most important first step. A few signs and symptoms to look out for include black stool, which indicates blood, a change in bowel habits, and unexpected weight loss. So I'd say probably a third to half of the patients that I send in for colonoscopies come back with precancerous polyps. There are multiple ways to get screened, whether it's using an at-home test or going in for a colonoscopy. It's a simple test to do and it can save your life. Eliason is celebrating five years cancer-free, something she may not be able to say if it wasn't for her getting checked out. If this even encourages one person to get their symptoms checked out and get diagnosed early, then, you know, then it was worth it. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.